Hey there YouTube, thanks for coming back and today I am really excited. We've got the new juice that is a new juice line out that it's affiliated with somebody else so we'll get that out there because you're not going to be able to find this online yet. Now this is something that I was told only three or four shops in the nation right now are carrying this but if you want it contact me on my YouTube channel if you're a shop owner and you want to try it. I'll give you the, the info on it on how to how to try to get a hold of this. But we're here to talk about Koala E-Juice. They've got four flavors. Sorry, I've only got three here right now. I have tried all four. But we're going to be looking at five flavors today. So let's go ahead and get into it. I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. Again, thank you for coming back and watching. But the first one I want to get into <clears throat> on the Koala, it's got a nice little simple logo. And this one is Mint Julep. Now, the Mint Julep, sorry, I'm going to be looking away for a second while I put this on my cotton, um, is something that on smell, it smells like walking by a fresh mint plant. Which to me, I'm going to throw this out there, and I have before. I hate menthol, I hate mint, and I, I hate menthol altogether. But mint, I don't like in a vape. This, when I tried it, was actually really good. Now, it's not something I can vape a lot, but it is something I vape occasionally. Now, the way I came across this was one of the guys came up and went into Pendragon and was giving them samples. Pendragon Vapor Shop here in Rosé was kind enough to give me, at the time they only had the three flavors, so they were kind enough to give me the full line to do a review on. And I've been in the process of trying to contact everybody and get a hold of these guys to get the flavor profile because there is one flavor that we'll get into that I wasn't quite sure what else was there. So I wanted to let you guys know. And in order to do that, I got part of it, but I couldn't see the other part. I didn't know what it was. I know what it is now, and <clears throat> most of their stuff is fairly self-explanatory. So... The mint is like walking by a fresh mint plant. You know, you go to the store and you find the little herbs and stuff and you smell it. It smells just like that. Let's see what it tastes like. So as you can see, vapor production is pretty well. Um, it's a fairly thicker juice. I believe it's a 75-25 blend. I'm not 100% sure on that. But it's a little bit thicker juice. Flavor, quality, we look at that again, mind you, I don't like mint, and this one was actually not bad, but flavor quality was like taking a fresh mint leaf and chewing on it. It was amazing quality for what it is. Um, it's not something that I vape all the time, but if I rate this 1 to 10 on flavor quality, I'm going to give this quality-wise an 8. Vapor production, a 7. Seven and a half. It is a little bit lower on VG, but flavor quality is very, very good. <clears throat> this is all their bottles kind of have the same thing. So for those of you that are looking, there's you know koala. You got the cool little koala bear, and the name under here. This one's called Tropical Melon. But so after Pendragon had given me these samples, I tried to get a hold of this company. And um, it was one of those things that I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. And I was going back and forth since before Thanksgiving. And here we are, late January. And they had gotten back and forth to me. And they're like, oh, hey, thanks. You know, that's really cool. Because I told them, look, I want to do the review. But can you guys send me a flavor profile? Just email it to me so I can send it off, you know, read it off. Oh, yeah, cool. Holidays, we got busy and everything else. So, what happened is, is that another shop opened and that I was asked to come in um, and kind of help out the owner, help him on the vape side of stuff, and try to help him learn some, some more stuff about vaping. So, I've been doing that, and I told him, hey, you know what, why don't you take a look at this Koala e-liquid? He said, well, is it good? I said, I love it. Other people that I know really liked it as well. So he tried to look at, he goes, well, I don't see anything online. I said, no, but I've got contact info for it. So he contacted him, got some samples sent to him, and he is now carrying it. So Vape Savvy in Visalia, California. 
has Koala e-liquid on the shelf, ready to go, all four flavors. So with that tropical melon, let's get into that. Again, good vapor production, flavor, flavor quality. Okay, let's put this one out there. This is probably my least favorite flavor. But flavor quality wise, it's got melon, which I get the cantaloupe, I get the honeydew out of it. Again, I'm not a melon fan in a vape, but I can handle it. But there was something else, and this is the one that stumped me, guys. This is the one that said tropical, and I said, okay, well, a honeydew and a cantaloupe really aren't tropical. What the hell? Well, Adam over at Koala, dude, you are awesome. Adam, I want to thank you so much. He was kind enough, after after the shop, Vape Savvy had ordered all this, I hit him up again. Hey guys, look, I really want to do this review. Um, I've got the liquid already, but can you please send me a flavor profile? Well, Adam called Vape Savvy and said, hey, this guy was has been emailing us for a while, you know him, right? At, and uh, Matt over at Vape Savvy said, yeah. As a matter of fact, he's sitting right next to me, we're putting in an order on some other stuff. He said, cool, so I talked to him. Totally cool cat. This guy said, oh no, I'm going to send you more juice. And I said, dude, you don't have to do that. He's like, no. I, you know, that's awesome. I want to send you some more juice. So he sent me another full line of Koala e-liquid, which is cool because this next flavor, I uh, vape through that bottle pretty quick, but I know exactly what it tastes like. And um, so he sent me another line of the three flavors. <clears throat> and he tells me, we get to talk, and he gives me the background. Now, here's where I'm going to let you guys know where these guys are associated with. So, ju Juice by Numbers, which a lot of us know, and we know them as a very good juice company, is actually kind of affiliated with Koala, and here's how. So, he gave me the story behind this. The owners of Juice by Number and the owner of Koala, I guess, were really good friends as little kids, and they grew up together. Well, Juice by Numbers gets its start. And they get going and they, they become known as a very good and premium e-liquid company. Well, I guess this guy, the owner for Koala, decides to get into it. And they kind of like work together. That's kind of cool. I mean, you don't see friends being able to go in business together but still have their own little thing going. And that that's awesome. And that's how they're kind of affiliated with each other so you can call down there and talk to Adam and Adam will be able to hook you up if you know other people don't have juice by numbers and you're a shop in a town that nobody else has and people are wanting that Adam can get you hooked up with both so that is awesome and I thought that was really cool um, and Adam tells me that in that tropical melon is that likey likey like like I don't know what the hell, I don't know how to pronounce it right. Sorry, guys. But I believe it's likey fruit with melon. And we were talking, and he goes, you know, personally, I don't like it. I said, no, but a lot of people do. They really like that. And that's been a good seller down at the shop. Uh, but it's just one of those that, that right there, I'm not a huge fan of melon, but the flavor quality on this was amazing. So I'm going to rate that still really high up there. It's been one of those deals that has been awesome for quality of the flavor you get you pick out the flavors there's enough flavor in there to be able to do that but it's not over flavored it's not too sweet it's not the flavor quality on that's good vapor production is good next one is my favorite lemon meringue now this taste and it's even sealed still so we'll pop the seal and get that going but this to me taste just like taking a lemon meringue pie, a piece, cut through the meringue, cut through the little lemon custardy stuff, and scrape off the you know scrape from the crust, take a bite, amazing, mm. tastes just like that to me. I even can pick out the meringue on it. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Oh, and by the way, I'm sampling these on my Freak Show RDA today, guys. If you were curious. So, um, we've got the 
freak show. We've got the lemon meringue on there. And let's try her out. Oh, I love that stuff. Adam, thank you so much. And like I said, you get that lemon, but that it's not overly tart. It's a little tart. It's that nice sweet lemon, like on that pie. So it's got that to it. And then on the finish on the exhale, just as you go whew, at the end of the exhale, like that meringue comes through because meringue doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's just that topping on there. But you get that out of it at the end. Damn good. Damn good, guys. Now, knowing that I hate menthol and I hate mint, Adam said, hey, I'm going to send you a flavor from Juice by Numbers called Thin Mint. He says... Now, at ECC, I guess, he asked people, what flavor do you hate to vape the most? And they all said, we hate mint or menthol. He said, I got a flavor for you. He said, "I, <clears throat> it's called Thin Mint. He said, most people ended up liking it. So, juice by numbers. Thin Mint. It smells just like the little chocolate Thin Mint candies. Uh, if if you like those, you will like this juice. If you don't like those, don't don't buy it. Um, it's one of those that it tastes just like the candies, and I every once in a while I like those candies. So this is actually really good to me, and it's a mint that I actually found along with that mint julep that I can mint, I can vape occasionally. But this is one that if you don't like the, that type of flavor. Don't, I mean, you can smell it if somebody's got samples of it at his shop. If not, don't just rush out to try to buy it because I would wait till you could try it first if you don't like that chocolate mint candy taste. Um, it's not overpowering on flavor, but we're going to go ahead and drip that. So, oh, you guys can see the color. Oh, yeah. So, get a little bit on there. I'm not dripping a whole lot on there right now on the cotton, just enough to kind of give a pull or two, and that way I'm not sitting here forever trying to re-wick. Re -wick. You get that nice refreshing mint with that chocolate flavor. That The chocolate flavor, though, guys, isn't overpowering. It's not like that dark chocolate. It's not like a milk chocolate. It just has that that effect with it. So it actually blends in very well. And it's not that you're going to get an overpowering mint or an overpowering chocolate. You get more of the mint out of it, but it's not to where it's going to be super sweet. It's not, it's something that's, I don't want to say mellow because flavor quality on this is very good too. And there's a lot of flavor to it. So, but it's that nice mellow flavor to where there's a lot of flavor punch to it but it's not the overwhelming oversweet or horrible taste to it it's very good um juice by number thin mint adam you were right thin mint is is good now the last one juice by numbers he tells me comes out with a new flavor every month with that being said every month you have a new flavor being released and 15 days prior to the new month and that release of the liquid, the shops that carry Juice by Numbers will get a sample of the new liquid coming out. And next month for February is going to be Sweet Guava. Sweet Guava was also sent to me by Adam to test out and look at. And I opened it up and I smelt it. Now, don't get me wrong, I've never smelt a fresh guava, but, you know, you, you get one of those nice juices or something like that in the store for a drink, and you get something that has that guava in it, and it, it's got that nice, sweet smell to it, uh, not overpowering again, but just a good overall sense on it, and this is what that smells like. It actually smells like one of those, uh, like, life water type deals where you get that nice smell to it but it's not an overpowering overpowering smell
again, vapor production, good on the thicker side. That one definitely has that tropical-y fruit to it, and it's just guava, guys. But it's like a nice, ripe flavor to it. It's not an, It doesn't taste an artificial flavor to me, or like there was a bunch of sweetener added to it, which I don't like in a juice, especially dripping, because you get all that extra flavor, and you get so much more flavor, and it intensifies, and depending on what RDA you use, and I love my Freak Show, and...